subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Welcome to my OnePlus 6 versus Samsung Galaxy Note 9 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. And just keep in mind that you can get two OnePlus 6s for the price of one Note 9, but you can argue that the Note 9 does a lot more in terms of feature set than the OnePlus 6. But here we're gonna test to see if the Note 9 can knock off the OnePlus 6 in the speed test. They both have eight gigs of RAM and they're both you know, pretty high storage, 128 gig over here and 512 gig over here, monster storage for the Note 9. And the Note 9 wins on the boot up test over the OnePlus 6. All right, so let's do a face unlock. First, we're gonna begin with the OnePlus 6, which has one of the fastest in the business. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. And you could see right when I clicked the power button, you basically didn't even see the lock screen. Again, three, two, one. And it's in. I mean, it's just so fast to unlock. So here's the Note 9. Let's go ahead and test its face unlock time. So here we are. And you can see there it goes again. And there it goes. So definitely not as fast as the OnePlus 6 when it comes to the face unlock. Okay, so they both feature fingerprint sensors on the rear right below the camera. So we can go ahead and test this out too. Three, two, one. And you can see the OnePlus 6 just so fast. Again, three, two, one. And the OnePlus 6 again, three, two, one. And the OnePlus 6 just a slightly faster animation when you hit that fingerprint sensor. So I'm giving the fingerprint speed and the face unlock speed to the OnePlus 6 over the Note 9. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. On the left, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, Snapdragon 845. On the right, eight gigs of RAM, 845, 512 gigs of storage. Let's begin with settings three, two, one. And you can see that's the one plus six. If you're wondering how I got this dark theme, I will drop it down below in the description. Let's go into the clock. And you could see about the same, maybe slightly to the six. Let's go into the phone. And you could see slightly to the one plus six. Let's go into calculator. And again, the animation a little quicker on Oxygen OS. Let's go into Instagram. But I mean, this is milliseconds. It's barely anything. You have to slow it down to really see. It looks like the Note 9 might have been ahead there. Let me know down below. And you can see scrolling through in the application about the same on both. I mean, they have basically the same spec, so they should be performing quite equally. Let's go into Twitter. And you can see Twitter is first for the OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and go over to notifications. And you can see about the same. And let's come over here again. Similar performance there. Let's go into Snapchat. That's the one plus six coming home. Let's go into WhatsApp and you can see slightly to the note nine. Let's go into YouTube and you can see YouTube on the left first and then on the right. Let's go into Amazon Prime Video and you can see that was the one plus six. Let's go ahead and hit this first link and you can see the one plus six. So very nice stuff here for the left. Let's go into Amazon three, two, one and see which one is first. And that's the note nine. Let's go ahead and just click this link up here. And you could see on the right, it looked like the note nine might've been ahead a little bit note nine there. And then the one plus six. So you can see that they trade blows here and there, depending on the app. Let's go into eBay and you can see eBay is first on both. They're both about the same there for eBay, but very good performance here for either device. Let's go into Jetpack joyride and see what happens here. So it looks like the OnePlus 6 is ahead. All right, so let's head into Dead Trigger 2 now and see which one is quicker. Both have the high graphic settings, three, two, one, and see which one is first. So both have the same Adreno 630 GPU. Let's hit play, three, two, one, and see which one can load this up first. Now, having the same GPU, water carbon cooling system here in the Note 9 could make it a little bit cooler, but the Note 9 seemed to have the jump there over to one plus six so if you thought gaming was great on the one plus six the note nine might be a little bit better let's go into PUBG mobile and see which one can load this first and it might be which one okay so we're here at the start of the match let's go ahead and just hit start match three two one and see which one can get in first so one plus six might be ahead here but it might be the Note 9. Let's see which one takes the win. And it's looking like the Note 9 was ahead. So the Note 9 stunning performance here in graphically intensive games as well. Let's go into Slither. And you can see that is the OnePlus 6 play against AI. 
equal right there. In terms of loading that, that was about the same. Let's go into Geekbench, and you can see very similar. It was hard to even see that. Let's go into Speed Test. And again, it looked like the OnePlus 6. Let's go into Video Shop. And you can see Video Shop, again, I don't know which one that one was. Call it down below and CPU Z321. And that's the OnePlus 6 clearly. Now, one thing I want you to take a look at is how much RAM is available on both devices when they are under, you know, heavy use like this, all these applications open at once. There's 2838 available here for the OnePlus 6. And then over here, 3503 for the Note 9. So the Note 9 seems to be doing better with RAM management here than the OnePlus 6, at least in terms of hogging up those resources. And speaking of RAM management and multitasking, let's go ahead and run through them backwards now to see if we do get any reloads for either, none there. You've seen the Note 9 did not reload against the iPhone 10, and I don't expect it to reload here against the OnePlus 6, and I don't expect the OnePlus 6 to reload either. So what's really impressive though, is that the OnePlus 6 is half the price and it gives you the same performance as this $1,000 smartphone. But a lot of people dismiss the fact that the Note 9 has specialty features and think that, you know, they're not going to pay the thousand for it. But people who are buying the Note know what they're getting into with the Note 9. You're getting an S Pen. You're getting, you know, an amazing camera on the rear, 512 gigabytes of storage. It's, it's just a really specced out phone. 2K display versus 1080p display here. And you see no reloads so far on either so don't just say oh well the oneplus 6 it's cheap so it's better no that doesn't make it better just because the performance is great they have different features but in terms of performance dollar for dollar the oneplus 6 is equal with this thousand dollar note 9. so the oneplus 6 has chrome loaded up i have chrome lit up here on the note 9 as well let's go ahead and just head over into amazon in three two one and you can see that the note 9 loads that first okay so let's go to the nick ackerman channel in three two and one and see which one can get there first and that was about even so you've seen in that web browsing test it's pretty much a draw going up and down this website you can see that scrolling speeds are very similar as they're both android smartphones let's go ahead and head over to yahoo now and let's click yahoo.com three two and go see which one gets there first and that is the note 9 let's go ahead and just click whatever articles first you can see very similar performance here on both so the browsing performance again it's pretty much a draw even steven here for the devices do keep in mind the samsung internet browser might be a little bit better for the samsung device it has night modes reader modes so it's a little bit more feature packed than just chrome but you can download the samsung browser here for the OnePlus 6 if you so choose. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and test the camera opening speeds. I think this is important to see which one can actually get that moment for you first. Three, two, and one. And you could see that looked like the Note 9 is gonna fire that camera off first. Three, two, one. And that looked like on the reload, it was the OnePlus 6 though. So both of them very quick. How about that camera from the lock screen? Both of them do have quick launch feature. Three, two, one. And you could see Note 9 again from the lock screen. So the Note 9 seems to have a little bit better of a speed when it comes to, you know, getting that quick launch off from the lock screen. Three, two, one. And you can see, yes, the Note 9 just slightly, ever so slightly quicker for that camera. You can also take pictures with the S Pen remote. So yes, the camera speed a little bit faster on the Note 9 to open up that camera. You might get your moment quicker for the Note 9. Okay, so we've arrived at the video render section. Let's go ahead and hit next here for both devices on the OnePlus 6. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the share icon. And we're gonna share this in the high settings to the gallery. Both are 35 second 1080p clips on both in video shop, three, two, one. See which one can render this and compile this video out first. And it looks like it's gonna be the Note 9 in my eye. Yes, maybe no, maybe it's the OnePlus. Ooh, nope, it's the Note 9 here on the render. So good performance right there for the Galaxy Note 9. Let's go ahead and run a quick speed test here. Now we're gonna run it on Wi-Fi. So go ahead and test the OnePlus 6 first, three, two, one, and see if it can pull in maybe the same Wi-Fi speeds as the Note 9 or vice versa here. So bringing in some pretty nice downloads there, 120, maybe 115, and going in for the close at 132, 135, and we're gonna wrap it up right around 140, 50. Okay, look at the OnePlus Go, 158. Actually, it rounded up to 159. So very nice download speeds there on the OnePlus 6. This is dependent on my network. If 
But I'm just saying, it's, it has great performance when it comes to you know optimizing the Wi-Fi for your network. So in, in the modems for your LTE, and you know what I'm talking about, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and go over to the Note 9 and see how this one does with its performance. Can it outdo the OnePlus 6? And it looks like it is. Like I was going to say that the new modems that are going to be and all these Galaxy devices are super fast. They're even faster than the ones on the iPhone 10, for example. And you can see 174 over 159. Remember, same Wi-Fi network here, so it shouldn't be that much of a difference. You can see 12 on the upload, and wow. So this is pretty decent in comparison. A pretty nice jump on the Note 9. So the Note 9 wins there in the Wi-Fi speed test. Okay, so we've arrived at the final Geekbench scores. Remember, we just did a bunch of apps, so both of these phones are hot right now, but you do see single core scores about dead even, a one point difference. So they're about even there. And in the multi-core, these do vary, but the Note 9 did lose to the OnePlus 6 here in Geekbench. So take it for what it's worth. You can see right here, impressive stuff for a half the price phone. Okay, so what is the final conclusion here? Well, I came to the conclusion that again, just like with most smartphones this year, they're all very fast and it's a pretty close performer, but I would give the Note 9 the win, not because I like it more, I think they're both fantastic phones, but because of some key factors, booting up faster than the OnePlus 6 is a huge benefit because sometimes we need to restart our phones and we need them to be quick. If we run out of battery and we plug it in, it needs to start up fast and we're in an emergency situation, the Note 9 is a little faster to turn that sucker on. Also, you have faster Wi-Fi and internet speeds on the Note 9, and that's a huge plus over the One Plus 6 over here on the left. Having eight gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and a Snapdragon 845 puts the Samsung performance right here on the Note 9, basically drawing with one of the fastest looking phones you've ever seen in the OnePlus 6, which is impressive considering we know how TouchWiz has performed in the past. But I'm not taking anything away from the OnePlus 6. The OnePlus 6 is fantastic value for money. This thing is standing toe to toe with a phone that's twice its price. It's more comfy, it's more compact. Some can say it's more sleek, it's better looking than the Note 9's blocky design. It's gonna be personal preference. But still, the OnePlus 6 is the budget king, king but I think the Note 9 has knocked the OnePlus six off its throne because now you can get a note nine which has all the flagship features you want and all the performance you want from like a phone like the one plus six and that's why personally i would go with the note nine of these two but that's just my take what is your take drop your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video if you want to see a full comparison between the one plus six and the note nine where we actually dissect and help you decide which one is the better one to buy then go ahead and drop that down below as well. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing as I have all the new iPhones coming later this year, as well as many more.